Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Zach Fisher. And I'm Lauren Davidson. And I am tired. This is the week before finals and I'm just preparing like crazy. How about you? I, I feel you. I am so exhausted. Um, last night I was up until probably 3.30 and then back up again, I don't know, 8 o'clock this morning for the show. So it's, it's going to be a long last That's week and a half. That's commitment right there. I two nights ago I was up till six, got a good two hours of sleep in. So wow. I was good for the rest of the day, you know. At that point, do you even go to sleep? You know, I, I was kind of thinking about that, just staying up and watching Netflix or something. But <laughs> you know, the struggle is real with finals, especially this being my first semester of college. Figuring out that you know, like I really actually have to study for these <laughs> finals and be prepared. And do you have a lot of assignments and stuff due this week? or? I mean, this week honestly feels like my finals week. I have majority of my finals this week. I only have two finals next week. And for my other four classes, all of the finals are this week. So That's annoying. Yeah, it's, yeah. this is my new finals week, apparently. So I'm in a great situation. I have a polls 150 test today, exam, and then I have a uh, final for it a week later. So. It's a great situation. We just have back a back. final. I know. It's great. I'm so excited for it. I'm ready to go. You know, <laughs> loving life right now. You seem pretty enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. It's great. Finals Finals is great. How, so with this being your first semester in college, how are you, how are you studying for this? You know, <laughs> it's not really a good habit. I'm kind of staying up really, really, really late at night. Uh, that's kind of what I've always done, but like I'm staying up like really like excessively late and draining like myself asleep. Like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like yeah. draining myself asleep, like of sleep and I don't really think that's a good thing. How about you though? How do you study? I do the same exact thing actually, um, except for right before Sonic closes, I make sure to go there, get a watermelon nerd slush so that <laughs> I can stay up all night. Yeah. I usually, I go get like a Red Bull or something just to kind of give me that extra kick, but then I regret it like immediately after. Exactly. I'm like, why did I do that? Yeah. I feel bad. No, I don't, I don't drink Red Bull. You know, for finals too, uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to study for finals you know, on KU campus because we have the KU's men's basketball team. And when there's a basketball game tomorrow, I don't think many of us will be studying when we have a second ranked team playing here. Exactly. So what do you plan on doing for the game tomorrow then? You know, I'm actually working the game. I've worked every game so far for Time Warner. Um, and I actually, for those games, I have the best seat in the house. I'm right under the baskets and um, sometimes running camera, other times just sitting there helping out the camera guy. but. Yeah, best seat in the house. That's cool. I camp for it uh, <laughs> with my pledge brothers. It's great. Um, you know, I, everyone knows what camping is. We keep messing it up, though. Like, you're supposed to be there at 6 in the morning, and they usually do roll call at 6 in the morning just mm -hmm. to make sure everyone's there. Yeah. And no one wants to get up. So, like, really no one does it. So you guys get moved to the end of the line. Yeah, at very end of the line, and we keep moving up. We get our hopes up, and we're like, okay, guys, you know, let's go tomorrow at 6. And then we <laughs> move back again all the way to the end of the line. So it's just teasing us. Yeah. Just no, you guys got to be there at six. Yeah, and you know, <coughs> KU is ranked number two now <coughs> as the new polls came out, and Michigan State is ranked number one. And I, for one, am extremely comfortable with Michigan State being ranked number one, considering they're our only loss. We were beating them the entire game, and now we have Shek Diallo. What do you think? I would definitely agree with that, and for me, I am so excited that we have Diallo. He is a very aggressive player, but you can tell he's he's so talented. And you know too from seeing him first hand experience down there on the court. You had you were showing me oh, a yeah. couple of videos of your phone on him. Oh yeah. You know, I was there for late night in the fog too. <laughs> he's just he's just a great presence for KU. It's really exciting. He is and I think I think you could tell he was nervous for that first game, but after having that easy first dunk, I think he was ready. He mm -hmm. was ready to just take everyone Definitely. on. Definitely. And also, too, in KU sports, KU volleyball, they defeated Mizzou in three sets last week, which is really interesting, too, because you don't see a lot of KU and Mizzou matchups anymore. No, seeing as they move to the SEC, they hardly ever play anymore. So to get the win the way that they did. Yeah, a little, little state pride there, <laughs> you know, a little campus pride is great. It was very impressive. They're going to be traveling to San Diego uh, to go compete in the San Diego Regional this week. 
and they'll be playing the winner of number eight Stanford and Loyal Marymount, and they'll probably be playing number eight Stanford. What can you tell us about that matchup, Lauren? I mean, I think it'll be a great matchup for them. Um, we were ranked nine coming into the tournament, and so being able to take on number eight Stanford, I think it'll be a great challenge for them, and I don't think they'll be able to take them in three sets, but you It'll never be fun know. to watch, yeah, yeah. It'll definitely be fun to watch. Yeah. Um, so stick around. After the break, we'll have Dan and Amber asking his students how they're preparing for finals week. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. And good morning, KU. I'm Jack Graham, here with our good friend Haley in the Union. Haley, how are you this morning? Good, how are you? <laughs> I am wonderful, and I was just perusing the Union, and I saw the most studious of students, and Haley looked to be that. Haley, what are you going to do to prepare for finals week? Well, I'm really going to study my notes again, like all my notes I took throughout the semester. I'm really going to rewrite those probably a whole bunch of times just to really get it refreshed in my mind again. Yeah. Now, what would be some of the classes that you're going to be studying for? Oh, all of them. You can't leave any out. Even if you think you know it, you still got to just go back and study it again. I love the persistence here, folks. Now, some of the specific like course names, like what's going to be, what's going to be, it's in the back of your mind. You're like, ah, that that one guy, he's he's going to bother me. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely my comms 232 class. It's a rhetorical history class, and then my geography class, probably my lab for it. What's going to be the toughest part of that comms class? Well, it's cumulative, so it's everything from the first. Uh, lesson till now and it's all like philosophers and their principles and stuff like that so it's just really getting it down and not getting them confused. I love it. Now are you going to be able to take any study breaks throughout this week? Maybe stop day eve, go to a fun party, something like that? Uh, well breaks are definitely important. I will be taking those but I don't think I will be going out. Okay. Now if you were to go out where would you go and what would be what would you get what would i get um well i would either go to the bull or the hawk mm. classics yes and i would definitely probably get a moose bowl of some kind but then also maybe a nice sprite or something too i would probably just stick to the sprite if it was up to me but uh haley thank you so much for your time you. good luck in your studies this you week too. we're gonna move on over to our next lucky contestant um, in the uh, most studious people in the union contest we're having. And this is our good friend, Ben. Ben, how are you this morning? Doing all right. How are you? Ben, I am, I'm awesome. And what would be some of the things that you say you're going to do to prepare for finals week? Uh, probably go back and study my notes for all my classes f from the whole semester, not just uh, in sections that we've ended with as of right now. And uh, go back and yeah, review, do some reading, just studying, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Now, what would you say would be an ideal study place for you? Like, what's, what's your go-to? Where are you going to be? Uh, probably in the library, because it's much more quiet. Uh, and not necessarily in my dorm room, because, like, you just, got, like, I'm the type of person I need to get out. I can't stay in my room and study and focus, because I'll be distracted whether it's the TV or so, and so I'll go up to, like, the study room in my dorm facility or just go to the library. For sure, absolutely. I know we all can get distracted by Call of Duty zombies every single time. It's, it's, it's just right there. It's such an easy access point. But what would be the go-to library for you and what floor? This is key. Um, I'm probably going to go to uh, Anch Anschlitz and uh, 
Probably just the first floor. Yeah. Okay. The first floor is known as the most hardcore studying floor, so we have a really studious guy on our hands. Ben, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Good luck in all your finals week endeavors. Stay tuned with the program, folks. We're going to be right back. Welcome back, I'm Amber Vandegrift. And I'm Lydia Taylor, and this is your Tuesday Good Morning KU News Update. The Weapons on Campus Committee will host an informational session today from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. in Butick 120 to discuss concealed carry on campus. The committee hopes to receive feedback and get members of the university community informed. The Weapons on Campus Community was formed at the beginning of the semester to address Kansas laws that will allow for concealed carry weapons beginning July 1, 2017. More than two dozen students at Boston College have gotten sick after eating at a Chipotle restaurant. This came after an E. coli outbreak linked to other Chipotle restaurants that has made people sick in at least nine states since October. The company temporarily closed the restaurant while health officials investigate. According to Time Magazine, KU is the most Instagram place in the state of Kansas. A post on the magazine's website analyzed geotagging data from the app to determine the most photographed place in each of the 50 states. College campuses were the most Instagram locations in four <coughs> other states, including Mississippi, North Dakota, Rhode Island, and Alabama. Former KU women's basketball player and former Olympian Lynette Woodward returned to Kansas this past weekend. Woodward was awarded the Naismith Contributor to Women's Basketball by the Atlanta Tip-Off Club. Among her other accomplishments, she was a four-time All-American and is the all-time leading scorer in Division I women's basketball with a whopping 3,649 points. The finalists for the 2015 Heisman Trophy have been announced. These include running backs Derrick Henry from Alabama, Christian McCaffrey from Stanford, and quarterback Deshaun Watson from Clemson. The three players will make the trip to New York City this week for Saturday's ceremony. And that will wrap it up for today's news update. We'll be back after the break for Blake with the weather. Stay tuned. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back, KU. Once again, I'm Zach Fisher, and I am here with Blake on the sixth floor of the Union. Blake, how's the weather looking today? It's looking pretty good, Zach. Um, it's pretty chilly out right now, so you might want to grab your coats. Um, it's looking like this week is going to be fairly warm with a high of like 60s mostly all day, but it's going to be cloudy. Um, so this that sounds looking pretty good. Sounds pretty great to me, especially with the week before finals, getting a nice little warmer weather, you know, lightening the mood up a little bit. Also, too, what is the weather going to be like for the rest of the week? Um, the rest of the week is supposed to be uh, partly cloudy, high 60s, but this weekend is supposed to get rainy, so you might want to grab those raincoats and rain boots. And also, finals week next week, how's the weather going to be? I know everyone's going to be really tired, really sleepy, but how's the weather going to be outside? Um, not as warm as this week, but still cloudy, kind of mid, mid-50s mid maybe, lower 30s, so it's going to be pretty chilly. Okay, well that is actually very unfortunate. Blake, <laughs> uh, it's the week before finals. What are you doing to study right now? Oh man, I'm just trying to stay awake, I guess. <laughs> same here, staying up late studying every single night. Yep. It's, it's pretty exhausting. Well, Blake, good luck with finals next week. You too, Zach. I know I will definitely need it. Uh, for the rest of KU, uh, good luck with finals next week. Tune in for Wednesday's Good Morning KU and Thursday Good Morning KU. Uh, we'll see you next semester. Thank you.